China, a country with 6.2 million millionaires, ranks second only to the United States in terms of affluent individuals, according to estimates by Credit Suisse. But did you know that within this wealthy nation lies a village unlike any other? This village is called the number one village under the sky. But how did they make it possible? Come, let's discover the secrets behind this wealthy village in today's exploration of Every Resident is a Millionaire, the Wealthiest Village in China. Join us as we delve into the fascinating story of this remarkable community, where opulence and prosperity are the norm. Chapter 1. The Jewel of Jiangsu Nestled in the heart of Jiangsu Province, China lies the crown jewel of prosperity, Huaxi Village. Renowned as the wealthiest village in China, Huaxi boasts a unique blend of economic success and socialist principles. Its strategic location in Jiangyin, under the administration of Wuxi City, positions it as a beacon of affluence amidst the rural landscape. Huaxi's picturesque streets are lined with tree-lined boulevards adorned with identical red-roofed villas, manicured lawns, and spacious two-car garages. What sets Huaxi apart are its specialties, a thriving multi-sector industry, including textiles, steel production, real estate, and tourism. However, Huaxi's affluence comes with strict regulations. Gambling, drugs, and interactions with outsiders are strictly prohibited. The village lacks bars, karaoke lounges, and internet cafes, fostering a controlled environment focused on communal prosperity. Speculation and dissent are swiftly dealt with, often resulting in property confiscation or expulsion from the village. But where did it all get started? Chapter 2. The Rise of Huaxi Village It all began in the mid-20th century, when a group of forward-thinking leaders, led by the visionary Wu Renbao, saw beyond the fields and farms. They envisioned a future where Huaxi would thrive not just on agriculture, but on industry and innovation. With determination in their hearts and sweat on their brows, the people of Huaxi transformed their village into a bustling industrial hub. Factories sprung up like mushrooms after rain, producing steel, iron, and textiles that found their way to every corner of the country. As the village started gaining popularity for its economic success, it began attracting tourists curious about its unique model of communal prosperity. Visitors flocked to witness the thriving industries and orderly streets, eager to glimpse the embodiment of collective wealth in a socialist setting. The influx of tourists brought new opportunities for economic growth, prompting the village to embrace tourism as a means to showcase its achievements and engage with the wider world. By 2008, Huaxi had become a powerhouse, with billions in sales and the prestigious title of the first commune corporation listed on the Chinese stock market. Despite this, hope flourished in Huaxi, Families earned more than they ever thought possible, living in homes that were once mere dreams. Tak Ge Shufang, for example, a humble peasant who, in the early 1990s, followed the call of opportunity to Huaxi. Little did she know that her decision would change her life forever. Today, Ge Shufang and her family reside in a magnificent two-story home, surrounded by luxury and comfort. As she reflects on her journey from poverty to prosperity, she marvels at the transformation Huaxi has undergone. It's a story of resilience, of dreams realized against all odds, a testament to the spirit of Huaxi and its people. But what was their strategy to reach this height? Chapter 3. The Huaxi Model At the core of Huaxi's economic prowess lies its distinctive governance model, characterized by collective ownership and communal wealth distribution. Unlike conventional capitalist systems where riches tend to accumulate in the hands of a select few, Waxi ensures that every resident partakes in the village's prosperity. Through communal ownership of businesses and industries, profits are shared among villagers, fostering a sense of community and solidarity. However, critiques have arisen regarding the village's model, pointing out disparities in wealth distribution and unequal treatment of migrant workers. Huaxi operates under a corporate structure that resembles a capitalist corporation, managed by the Jiangsu Huaxi Group Corporation. This conglomerate oversees numerous subsidiaries spanning various industries from extruded aluminum to traditional medicine to real estate. Led by the Wu family, the corporation's financial success is notable, with unverified reports suggesting substantial annual revenue and employment opportunities. Despite claims of self-sustainability, questions persist about potential government subsidies and the treatment of migrant workers. While villagers enjoy benefits from the communal wealth, outside laborers, predominantly migrants, receive salaries and benefits but do not share in Huaxi's profits. 
This discrepancy has drawn criticism, with some labeling it as exploitation and questioning the inclusivity of Huaxi's economic model. Chapter 4. Leadership and Succession Despite controversies, Huaxi thrived under Wu Renbao's visionary leadership. His strategic foresight and dedication propelled the village from agrarian roots to industrial prowess. Renbao's ability to foster unity laid the foundation for Huaxi's success. However, Renbao's passing marked the end of an era for Huaxi. His death in 2013 left a profound void in the village, as he was not only a leader, but also a revered father figure to many. The villagers mourned his loss deeply, yet their grief was tempered by a collective resolve to uphold Renbao's legacy of prosperity and communal spirit. In honoring his memory, the villagers redoubled their efforts to ensure that Huaxi continued to thrive, demonstrating the enduring impact of Renbao's visionary leadership. But somehow, Wu Renbao's absence created a significant gap in Huaxi's leadership. While subsequent leaders endeavored to uphold his legacy and maintain the village's trajectory of success, they faced challenges in filling the void left by his visionary leadership. Despite their efforts, Huaxi gradually lost the spotlight it once enjoyed, and its popularity waned as quickly as it had risen. However, the village's accomplishments and contributions to communal prosperity remain commendable. While it may have faded from the limelight, Huaxi remains the wealthiest village in China, its journey standing as a testament to the transformative power of collective effort and shared prosperity. Thank you for joining us in today's exploration, and we look forward to sharing more intriguing insights with you in our upcoming luxury video.